real powers of AI is just both how transformational it is, but also how ubiquitous it is. Almost every military capability that you can think of will be impacted by AI to some extent. If UK defence doesn't invest in AI, we'll fall behind compared to our adversaries and this means that the increasing threats brought about by their use of AI will pose an increasing threat to the UK. We need to make sure that we are understanding how this technology can really revolutionise how we approach um, all kinds of aspects of our work in the Ministry of Defence. We're looking at how we apply AI to things like command and control and what that means it's really how do we win the campaign is really what we're trying to understand there. So we're trying to look at how we help the people, the humans, the military people there understand what they need to do to deliver that success. Applied AI aims to help um, users within defence and security do their jobs more effectively and more efficiently. So, for example, process large amounts of information to pull out structured points and entities and relationships. But we can also make links that weren't previously made before or weren't possible to make before by processing more data than a human can really hold in their head at once. So DSDL is really well placed to pro um, progress AI for defence because we are in that boundary between working with the armed forces and with industry and academia as well. DSDL is tracking the developments within the wider AI landscape. They also have a wide range of subject matter experts who research into the latest developments and try out tools as soon as they become available, experimenting to see what can be possible with them. What we've done over the last few years is prove many of the underpinning technologies and shown the potential of this area. And what we need to do in future is to start to realise that potential and start to develop that capability to be more of a coherent, uh, joined up capability. And AI has been described as being a bit like electricity for the 21st century. It is the technology that is going to fuel innovation and our, the world around us. So if we don't invest in AI, we're not going to be able to realise the benefits of that for our armed forces.